Let's face it, we all love guitar solos and we all love lists. So here's my personal, very personal, list of top 20 Australian rock guitar solos. What's my criteria? Is it right for the song? Is it memorable? Is it quirky or clever? Is it fun to play? Is it genius? Does it spark joy? Give us a like and let's get on with it. US Forces, Midnight Oil, Jim McGinney. It's really only a two bar phrase repeated a couple of times, but it's precisely what the song required. And it's so instantly recognizable. I mean, what would you have played? <laughs> So the main riff is pretty much just an A and B thing. So A, B minor to B7. So A, B, A, B. So Jim's gone, B flat. Well, I guess B flat is the average of A and B, right? Actually, I remember seeing a great friend of mine, the immensely talented Jack Jones, slay this song when he was playing with a cover band called Surrender at the Grain Store in King Street in Melbourne back in back before he joined Southern Sons anyway. He saw those unaccompanied measures as an opportunity to do some wicked atonal shredding. All I can vaguely recall now, apart from my chin hitting the sticky pub carpet, is some kind of flat five stuff like... <laughs> something like that anyway. Baby animals. Dave Leslie is a national treasure. And Susie Dumarkey is no slouch either. I've picked early warning for the list today because Dave and Susie play harmonised triads at the first half of the solo. It's a bit of a dual guitar attack. It's really clever because it's a pretty straight ahead rock song. They're playing it in B, they're tuned down a semitone, but as you all know, I'm way too lazy to ever tune my guitar down or find my um, whammy bar. So anyway, we'll get by. So anyway, the first half of the solo is just like that sort of pattern. But the little triads that they're playing together, so Susie's playing like a... So that's like B flat minus seven, and then a D seven. But then she goes back to the first shape while the bass player is playing the, the D flat. So it becomes a D flat six, but then Dave's playing over the top, he's playing like an F minor triad over the first one. So that makes that B flat minus seven now a B flat minor nine, it's like a, You know, we got that voicing for the first chord. Um, so then after that section, Dave just cuts loose and it sounds just like a live take. Like, he's such a fantastic player. Last time I saw Dave play was uh, at the corner in Richmond before this whole COVID thing. And he was part of a Bowie tribute show. And um, he was having way too much fun. You know, when you're watching a guitarist and he's just, I don't think I've seen many guitarists have as much fun as as Dave Leslie was having that night, playing all those Mick Ronson lines. Man, unreal. But he's, yeah, he's just so good. It's such a lovely fella as well. It's a tricky little solo to play. I love how he sort of starts wailing away with lots of flat fives. There's flat fives all through his playing. Like that first little bluesy run, he's got that. Down to the sixth as the band goes to the, the E flat chord. So then Dave, after playing a few shredding licks, then he goes down to that muted kind of uh, and drifts right across the beat. Now the way I've written this out, if you check out my Sound Slice page, 
it sounds like he's playing groups of four eighth notes where there should only be three. I think that's what's happening, but it, it drifts right across the bar. It's more a feel thing. There's no way I can count it, but oh, he's, he's brilliant. Yeah, to peel off something like that in the studio. Amazing. And watch his live clips, because he's even better live. Incredible. Love your work, Dave. And Susie. Diesel. Oh, you all know how much I love Diesel. Pretty much every Diesel tune has an amazing guitar solo on it. Um, Tip of My Tongue has another wonderfully singable lead break that... Uh, um, Uh, that baritone break on Come To Me all come together with that sensational octave effect on there. And One More Time is just brimming with tasty licks from start to finish. But Man Alive is one of my personal faves because it really shows off some of Mark's trademark wailing with the wah. <laughs> Awesome. I included the bass, those little bass licks there too, because I don't know for sure, I can't find it written anywhere, but I would put money on it that Mark played that part as well. He's an all-rounder and that, it, it, that has such a funky feel to it, which if you've seen this guy play live or listen to any of his recordings, you'll know that Diesel, Mark Lazotte, ridiculously funky feeling player. The outro to that song also has some tremendous licks. It's a great solo at the end. There's a part where the song comes right down and he's playing something like... Um <laughs> yeah, very cool. Next, Skunk Hour. Up to our necks in it. I didn't want to say too much before that because many of you, especially internationally, won't have heard of Skunk Hour. Or Warwick Scott was their funky guitarist. But man, in the 90s, those guys released so much juicy gear. There's not too many real funky Australian bands. There's lots of stuff we can call funk. But Skunk Hour are terrifically funky. And as you heard from that solo, which I just love, I could play that over and over and over. It, the whole thing's over D minor. Well, it's a, it's a D minor bass. Um, apologies to Dino for massacring your beautiful lines there, mate. <laughs> but I love doing it. <laughs> I love having a crack. Uh, so yeah, the, the bass is pumping away on a D. It's, it's a D minor tonality. And the, um, that guitar part, the rhythm that comes in. So it's like a G minor, but still over the B bass. So the key of F fits beautifully over all of that. But what I love is that was starts off little flat five bends. 
That's beautiful, right? It catches our ear right from the start. And then, you know, it's sparse. There's only drums, bass, and guitar playing. But then he makes it sound like the chords are changing underneath because he goes into that beautiful arpeggio. <laughs> resolves back onto the D. So it's really just a G minor 6, I guess. Or C9, you could call it. Yeah, amazing. Beautiful solo, beautiful. Go check them out. Next up, Happy Anniversary by The Little River Band. Aussie Yacht Rock. These guys were a world-class band. Tremendous songwriting, musicianship, vocal harmonies, production skills. And this era of those guys is my favourite. <laughs> Dave Briggs on guitar. There's a clip of Briggs, he ripping that one up somewhere in Germany in 1980. He improvises a couple of other wicked little licks in there too. So check it out on the Shorik Bertels Gobel YouTube channel. Actually, it was Briggsy that awarded me this when I was a kid at our local Battle of the Bands. I know you're busy, so we'll leave it there for now. Stay tuned for the next five. But if you can't wait, I've uploaded the entire thing over here.